From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Dennis's Heating and Air Conditioning is Northern California's premier heating and air conditioning contractor. From residential housing, large commercial projects, installation to repair, sheet metal fabrication, and everything in between, we are your go-to heating and air conditioning specialist. Hello everyone. Well, the Cottonwood Veterinary Clinic and Small Animal Clinic are putting on their second annual Moo and Boo Open House event. Boy, what a cool thing that they're doing here. They've got educational presentations by their veterinarians, and it's going to be Sunday, October 22nd. So put that in your calendar because it's going to be a fun time. I'm going to try to get there and, of course, maybe uh, get out there, do a live shot to kind of show you all the fun things so you can check it out. It's from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. It is on 3917 Main Street, Cottonwood. And it's behind the old auction yard. Free admission, by the way. You gotta love these events that are free admission. Uh, and of course, costumes are encouraged. Be sure to check it out. I think it'll be kind of a lot of fun here. It's gonna be their second one. They did one last year as well. Let's take a look at some of the cameras out there. This is looking north of Trinidad at the Elk Country Resort here. There you can see still a lot of cloud cover out there. It was, it's been kind of tough to really clear things out along the coast. However, we've seen some clearing in Crescent City kind of off and on. There were a lot of showers throughout the morning hours, but things are really starting to kind of taper off as far as rain is concerned. So looks like we are finally getting a bit of a break from that, at least for another 24 hours. Now the valley, of course, we're looking at mainly sunny skies. You can see some of the clouds that are kind of filtering through, a lot more cloud cover off in the distance there in the eastern mountains. But I'm expecting sunny and warmer conditions for your Thursday, and that's really across the board. But I'm expecting, there's that word that I like to use this time of the year, unsettled. That's essentially what we're looking at here for Friday through early next week, but mainly to the north and west of the valley. Modoc County, Eastern Mountains, and even the valley will most likely be dry through this time frame, but Siskiyou County, Trinity County, uh, Del Norte Humboldt counties could be looking at the potential for just a little bit of rain, nothing major, and then sunny and warmer by the middle of next week. All right, so here's the big picture. Swirling area of low pressure to our north, you can kind of see it shifting to the east, and that's why a lot of our activities that we've seen as far as rain is concerned is moving out. But we certainly saw some cold and unstable air moving in. Now, this right here is going to be moving closer to us on Friday. And that is going to try to bring some of us some rain here, and it's going to be mainly late Friday and into Saturday. All right, so let's take a look at Futurecast. Here's the latest forecast model data coming in. Now, of course, Thursday, as I mentioned, gorgeous day. I think we'll be looking at even mainly sunny skies out along the coast, the mountains, the valley, looking gorgeous for your Thursday. A little bit warmer out there too. But you see how we're going to start to see kind of some clouds filter through as we go through the day on Friday. And look at this. By noon on Friday, we're already seeing that rain approaching the coast. Then we take you through the afternoon. And as I mentioned, it's mainly going to be in Siskiyou, Del Norte, Humboldt, and Trinity County. Now, what this particular forecast model wants to maybe bring maybe a little bit of activity late in the day on Friday for the north end of the valley. So don't be surprised if you run into a stray shower Friday uh, evening for the Reading area, but otherwise it's pretty much dry everywhere else. You can see how that kind of moves out. So Friday, 11 o'clock PM, you can see just a few stray showers here and there, but that's really the extent of it at that point. Now I'm going to take you into Saturday morning at about 9 a.m. This is going to be when approximate time of the annular eclipse. Now, when we're looking at these clouds here, keep in mind that there are basically three levels of clouds that we look at. High level, and that's typically those thin high cirrus clouds. Then you have the mid-level clouds, and that can tend to be, uh, so the thin cirrus clouds, you can kind of see through them a lot of times, right? And then you have the mid-level clouds, which are a little bit more difficult to see through. They tend to be a little bit more dense. And then, of course, the low-level clouds are typically your cumulus clouds and things like that. All right? So let's take a look at Saturday. Saturday, it looks like we may be looking at kind of a mixture of some high and mid-level clouds. That's during the eclipse. That could kind of create some issues as far as checking out the eclipse. But if we're lucky, it'll be mainly in the form of those high thin cirrus clouds. And then through the day on Saturday, clouds may thicken up 
and then maybe a chance for showers along the coast and maybe even parts of, of uh, Trinity County as well on Saturday. But everyone else is dry on Saturday. Sunday looking dry and we're clearing things out, it looks like, on Sunday. Then Monday night into Tuesday, another round of rain could be making its way into the coast. But I don't anticipate anyone else to see any rain on Monday. So it's mainly just going to be of a coastal event on Monday night into Tuesday. Uh, maybe some inland showers as well, but everyone else looking fairly dry. And then it looks like it'll be dry through the rest of next week as well. In fact, we look at the precipitation outlook over the next six to 10 days. This area of brown indicates that we have a better chance of seeing below normal rainfall. So yeah, things are looking fairly dry out there. Let's talk about the temperatures now, because it's going to get cold tonight. You think about the past few storms that have moved through, they've had some colder air kind of filtering on in. So what happens is as we start to dry things out tonight and clear things out tonight, what's going to happen is it's going to allow temperatures to drop significantly. So there is a frost advisory for southeastern Humboldt and southern Trinity County from 2 a.m. until 10 a.m. on Thursday. Temperatures dropping down to the mid-30s could mean some, some patchy frost developing. Now, where we could be looking at temperatures even colder is up in the Modoc County, in particular, eastern Modoc County, last in eastern Plumas County. Temperatures here, this is from 2 a.m. till 8 a.m., by the way, on Thursday, sub-freezing temperatures as low as 25 degrees. That can damage crops. That can be a problem. Now, one thing I always like to stress is that even if your area is not shaded in purple or blue, it's probably best to play it safe and try to protect anything that could be damaged. All right, so here's a look at your wave heights. Where did it take you into your Thursday at about 5 p.m.? We're finally starting to see those wave heights begin to drop, which is good. You know, we don't want to see them too high. It's not good for the fishermen out there. Here's your marine forecast. North winds at 5 to 15 knots. Waves from the northwest at 10 feet at 12 seconds. There's your high tide, 1148 a.m., so just before noon, and then your low tide at 5.37 in the evening. There's a small craft advisory through tomorrow morning, but as those wave heights start to drop, that small craft advisory should be lifted. It's cooling off, even for the valley. We're dropping down to the mid-40s for some of us in the valley, especially the north end of the valley. Look at these temperatures up in the eastern mountains. This is why we have that uh, freeze warning. Temperatures in the low 30s in Modoc County, Upper 20s for Lassen Park, you bet it's going to be cold there. 35 for Susanville, Chester, down to about 27 degrees. Now, we head off to the west, and there you can see 35 for Trinity Center, 40 in Weaverville, 35 for Hayfork. So again, not as cold as the eastern mountains. And of course, as you can see for the, uh, for the coast, temperatures in the upper 40s. Now, for tomorrow, temperatures are warming up a bit, especially in the valley. We're going to be looking at temperatures upper 70s. But I think for the most part, we're going to dodge that 80 degree mark for your Thursday. It's warming up even in the higher elevations in the 50s and 60s there. Low 70s for Weaverville and Hayfork. Mid to upper 70s inland for Del Norton Humboldt County. It's about 75 for Garberville. 66 in Klamath and there's Eureka. I have about 62 degrees. So here's a look at your seven day outlook. And I've changed it up a bit since the last uh, couple of updates here. So what I'm doing here for Mount Shasta is it's going to be dry for the most part for the next seven days. If we see a chance for showers, it will be Friday night and into Saturday morning. So you can see a few showers coming in there late in the day Friday and then maybe coming into early Saturday morning. For Alturas, looks like we've got dry conditions for the next seven days. Most of it should stay to the west of Modoc County and not to mention west of the Eastern Mountains. So I'm keeping the Eastern Mountains dry over the next seven days as well. Now for the valley, things get a little tricky here because it's borderline. I think if anybody sees any rain, it will be redding and it'll be mainly Friday night into Saturday morning, but even then it won't be that significant. Otherwise, it's dry for the next seven days. We're seeing temperatures kind of go up and down a bit, uh, getting close to 80 degrees by Tuesday, but should exceed that 80 degree mark by Wednesday of next week. Here's your seven day outlook for the coast. Now this is where we have the best chances for rain as we go through the weekend. First and foremost, Friday, chance for showers coming in, even in the afternoon. Saturday, especially in the first half of the day. Now expect a break on Sunday with more rain coming in sometime probably Monday night into Tuesday. And that's pretty much the same situation for the inland areas and not to mention Weaverville in Trinity County. But after Monday, and in particular as we go into Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday, we should eventually start to dry things out.